<laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is time for some good old makeup tutorial. That's what I did. Um, this is actually kind of me. If you know me, this is the type of makeup that I like. I did use something different for my base. I'm using an airbrush foundation and I like it. So yeah, if you like what you see and you want to see how I did it, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so before I'm going to start with the actual tutorial, I'm sorry for my voice. I'm not feeling well today. I think I have the flu, you know, my nose is runny, my eyes are burning and my head hurts. But I do have a party to attend tonight, so that's why I'm filming this look. Um, we're gonna go heavy, like there needs to be something on my face like a lot of makeup maybe my entire makeup stash so that's uh, what my plan is uh, to be honest i'm not sure what i'm going to do with my eyes and with the face i just know that i need a lot of concealer and stuff like that so yeah let's do that because i want my skin to be very glowy i'm gonna use one of my favorite primers this is the one by becca the backlighting primer filter backlight priming filter that's the name um, and I'm gonna start off by applying my foundation, which most of the times I don't do, but I'm gonna use something different. I'm gonna use some airbrush makeup. And I don't know how that will be if I already have my eye makeup on. So that's why I'm just gonna do foundation first, but concealer I'm gonna do later on. Because if you know me, you know that I tend to mess up my eyeshadow so I can clean it afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to use the Aero Blend Airbrush Makeup and I have a box with shade 10 and this is what's in the box. You have a few colors. I am in shade 35. Then we have a blush, a bronzer and also a highlighter. So that is what I'm going to do today. I think I'm going to put a towel up here because I don't know if it's going to mess up my sweater. But I don't want that. And this is what it looks like. So this is like the gun, airbrush gun. And then you just apply it on the entire face. Give me that airbrush look. Okay, so like I told you, I have shade 35. But I also have 40. I tried 40, but it was too dark for me. So I'm going to do 35. I did not try that color, to be honest. So if it's too light, I can always go over it with a little bit of 40. You have to shake it very, very well before applying it. And then here is where you're going to put in the foundation. About seven drops. Okay, that was not seven. Uh, that was 11 just to be sure. Oh, by the way, this is what it looks like. And I don't know if you can see it, but this is where you turn uh, the machine on. And then you have one, two, three uh, levels. I have it on three because I want to have a lot of coverage. So I'm just going to start off by applying it. And I think I'm not going to talk while applying this because it will get into my mouth. Okay, so if I look at my neck, I think 35 is a little bit too light for me. Yeah, so I'm going to add some drops of number 40. That's fine, right? I love my base to be like this. I am obsessed. And um, before I forget to tell you, when you use airbrush makeup, do not go over it with a sponge or a brush because it's not necessary, as you can tell. This is just the machine, the device, however you want to call it. Just go over it and it's literally going to give you like this airbrush finished, which I'm all for. All right, so again, I used the AeroBlend airbrush device and I mixed 35 and 40. I'm gonna let my foundation sit. I'm not gonna do concealer, like I told you before, where I'm gonna do the eyes. And I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty palette um, just because this is my safe go-to palette. If I don't know what to do, when I wanna be glamorous, this palette has everything I need. For my base, I'm gonna use the P. Louise uh, Rumor 02 primer. Um, I have the original one, which, as you can tell, is very light. But yeah, uh, I want to have a different color because she came out with three or five, I don't know, other colors. But, you know, I have two of them. Um, 
and I'm gonna finish it. But it's a damn good primer. And since I'm gonna apply eyeshadow all over my eyes, it doesn't really matter. By the way, I am looking at myself on my laptop and this base, I like that. And I forgot to color correct the inner corners of my eye. Good job, girl. Anyway, I'm going to start off with this very dark brown shade. It is called Coco. And I'm going to take my MAC 221 and apply this in my crease. And yes, my brush is dirty. I ran out of brush cleanser and I just saw it. And if I'm going to clean it, then it has to dry. I don't have time for that. So we're just going to deal with it. That is so well blended. All right, quickly gonna do my other eye up camera. Okay, both eyes are done. Well, not done, I'm done with the first shade. And let's do the second one. I'm gonna use Man Eater, oh, I love that name, which is a red purple shade. And I'm gonna take my Sigma E40, taking a little bit of that product, tapping off the excess, and then I'm just gonna go like, uh, actually over the edge of that first color to blend it out, if that works. By the way, if you saw my video about the very like popular Facebook wig, I filed a complaint. It was a scam. It was a total scam, so I asked my money back, and then people said, all right, that's okay, but I needed to return the wig, and I did. It went back to China, so that is very interesting, because if you look at the website of that store, it says that it's based in New York. Well, it's not. It's based in China, and the total amount of the wig was, uh, I don't know. I remember uh, how much it was, but I, I returned it, and I had to pay 24 euros shipping I, I don't even know why i did that but um if i get my money back it's a little bit more than i paid for but still i hate it i hate it so much um it's a scam i'm gonna link the video down below so if you see videos like this on instagram or on facebook it's actually more on facebook i didn't see it on instagram please don't fall for it and do not buy it because it is not a pretty wig it's a bit more purple than i thought it would be that's fine. I'm gonna wear black so it doesn't really matter what I'm gonna do with my makeup. I am gonna go over it with henna with that Sigma E40, this shade right here, uh, because it's a bit too purple and if you know me, if there is a color that I hate, it is purple. Well, at least for eyeshadow. I don't like that. I'm gonna go back in with Coco because I want my crease to be a little bit darker. By the way, I'm planning on doing some Christmas makeup looks, of course, but uh, what do you guys wanna see? Like, what colors, um, what kind of videos? Tell me. This is just uh, a blending brush without a name. It's just to blend everything a little bit together. Like so. To highlight my brow bone, I'm gonna use the Amrezy um, highlighter, which is coming back or it's already back, I'm not sure. So if you are able to get your hands on it, please do because it is freaking gorgeous. Look at that. And I'm also gonna use this highlighter as an eyeshadow for my eyelids. I'm just gonna use my finger, why not? And then taking that smaller brush for the inner corners. Taking my MAC 221 and just going over it like this because I don't want to have like the gold shade in my crease. Not today. Let's do liner. And of course, I'm going to use my all time favorite. It's the Catrice Liquid Matte Liner in, um, it says 10 and then it's called Dating Joe Black, but I believe there's only one of them. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. That is some long ass liner. All right, a liner is done on both eyes. It's time for lashes. And I'm going to use one of my favorites. These are Tati Lashes in TL3. And I'm going to use also my favorite glue, which is the one by Huda Beauty. It's a black one, um, and you don't have to wait for it to dry, so that's a good thing. 
And by the way, if you're wondering what's on my lips, it's the uh, Smashbox O Plump. Oh, and there is liner on my finger. Uh, Smashbox O Plump uh, Lip Plumper. I always use this on my lips when I'm getting ready. Just gonna make them a little bit more full, even though I have lip fillers. Applying a little bit of mascara first, and I'm using uh, the one by Benefit. It's called uh, They Are Real. And I'm pushing with the back of my tweezers um, my real lashes together with my big one. So that way, if you look at the side, you're not going to see my own lashes. And then on top of it, the real one. They need to be one. Time to contour this face. And I am using, I know how it looks, a very cheap lipstick thing. Uh, it's my Primark. It's called PS Concealer in Chestnut. And it is extremely cheap. It looks like a lipstick. It is a concealer. But I use it to contour and I am obsessed with it. First of all, like I told you, it's cheap. Um, but it's not that pigmented. I think I already told you in a video. I don't remember which one But because it's not that pigmented it is easy to blend out It's not gonna look harsh. We're just gonna give you like that nice shadow, which we all love So that's what I'm gonna use You should try it and if you don't like it, you know It's not gonna make you not pay your rent or mortgage anymore because it is not expensive. Not at all Taking my real techniques um, contouring brush. I don't know how I forget the name of this brush every single time. It's my favorite brush, like what is wrong with me? Taking my angled brush, oh, not the nose because there's nothing on my nose, but blending this out. I'm gonna do my nose uh, later on, but first I'm gonna go in with Peach Luster by MAC over my under eyes just to cancel out any darkness because I have that a little bit. You know what I hate about having a cold is that I'm not sick whereas I can not do anything, but it's like I need to blow my nose and I have to go to places, but how the hell do you blow your nose without ruining your makeup? I know life problems, but still it's it's annoying because you're gonna get this area where there's no makeup. I believe there are worse things in this world than me having a cold and ruining my makeup. For concealer, I'm gonna use my good old trusted NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger. I bought it at Sephora when I was in Germany during Black Friday and I got 20% off. And then I used it when I came back and then I realized how much I used to love this concealer because it's damn good. And I'm gonna use my Queen Tarzy blending brush uh, sponge to blend it out. I'm sorry this is a Dutch brand but I am obsessed with this sponge because it's very thin so you can really get into the inner corners even though I already have eyeshadow on. Going back in with that contouring thingy. It's a little bit on the sides of my nose and then taking that angled brush again. That's harsh. Taking a MAC Light Boost. To set it, I'm going to use my RCMA Translucent Powder, the no color one, and my favorite MAC 240S only here because I'm going to use some liquid highlighter. All right, so we're gonna go back to the airbrush machine and we're gonna go in with highlighter. It is called Champagne Toast. Shake it well. Again, way too much. There we go. We are glowing, blending this out. All right, so what I'm going to do is take my MAC NC40 
Studio Fix Powder and I'm just going to apply it like on my cheeks, like actually like on my jawline a little bit where I want to go over with some powder, you know, contour powder on my forehead because I don't like to be shiny up there and a little bit on the sides of my nose. And I try not to use a lot of it because Studio Fix Powder is not a setting powder, it is an actual foundation, so it's going to give you coverage, so be aware of that. Then I am going to go over it with a little bit of this baby, it's called Shadester by MAC, just to set the cream contour. It's gonna, you know. Yeah, that. I'm going to take my favorite, the Ofra Highlighting Bronzer on the Glow Magnetic Palette. Look at it, how gorgeous this is. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this one right here. You see that? Yeah, this one. And then I'm going to mix it with this because one is too dark and one is too light. Yeah. With my skin tone, I often have to mix a lot of colors. You see that? It's, it's too dark. And then I go over it with this one to achieve this and because I already have like a highlighter on my face a liquid one the airbrush one that this highlighter is going to pop even more I mean look at that taking my Morphe M500 and I'm gonna go in with this powder bronzer just to prevent me from having like this you know almost like a stripe highlighter because it is a lot I can see that but you know I like it all right, let's go back to the eyes and I'm going to take Coco again and mix it a little bit with Henna. Well, actually, the other way around, I'm going to take Henna first and then I'm going to go over it with Coco. Taking that um, breezy highlighter again and highlighting my inner corners. And of course, I'm feline for my waterline. All right, so I'm going to spray some Glam Glow Glow Setter before I'm going to do mascara because most of the times when I do mascara first, it gets onto my under eyes and I don't want that. So bathe myself in it. Mascara, of course, and I'm going to use the same one uh, that they are real by benefit. Okay. I am going to go over with my sponge. There's no product on it, but it's just to get rid of the lip gloss. For lips, we're going to use my new obsession. This is by Sephora. It's called Cream Lip Stain, and this is number 40. It doesn't have a name, just a number 40, I believe. And I am obsessed with this color. It's like a nude pinkish tone. I think it will look good with the purple, dark purple kind of eyeshadow. And if not, then we're going to remove it. But we'll see. Lips are done, but I am missing something on my cheeks, I think. Uh, so I'm going to take my favorite bronzer, actually highlighter, Gold Deposit by MAC. Just going to give me a little bit more this. Okay, makeup is done. I am quickly going to do something about my hair, probably wear my wig and change into something else. I don't know what. And then I'll be right back. So yeah, guys, I am back. This is what I did with my hair. Actually, nothing special. I teased it a little bit and then just, you know, combed it. That's the only thing I can do right now because uh, my hair is pretty short. I wish it was a bit fuller, but hey, this is it. This is what I'm going to do. Yeah, so that was the tutorial of me getting ready. Um, yeah, it's actually a pretty simple look. Uh, I have to say that I am obsessed with the foundation, with the airbrush. I have never used airbrush before. Of course, with this device, I tried it out before just to know how it works. But before that, never. And I think this face is just flawless. So I really like that. So yeah, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And as I asked you before, I think, please, please tell me what kind of videos do you want me to see? Of course, I'm going to do a Christmas look, uh, New Year's Eve, and all that good stuff. And very soon, I think, 
within two weeks there will be a huge makeup giveaway on my Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram I will link it somewhere on the screen so you can do that if you want to and yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos I want to thank you again so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video